Welcome to one of our Alpha Laval 360 degree service and maintenance videos. With Alpha Laval service, you maximize the reliability and uptime of your equipment. In this video, we will focus on how to conduct service and maintenance on the Alpha Laval DuraCirc pump using our tools and service kit with genuine Alpha Laval spare parts. How to change the flush O ring seal kit. First, mark the orientation of the front cover. Remove the rotor case cover nuts and cover. Remove the front cover P ring. Now, mark the positions of the rotors. Insert a plastic block between the two rotors to prevent them from turning. Remove the rotor nuts. Make sure the rotors are perpendicular to each other. First, remove the rotor that has both wings exposed. Now remove the other rotor. Remove the rotor nut P rings. Then remove the rotor shaft O rings. Remove the sleeve from the rotor using a small screwdriver, if required. Remove the primary O-ring using the tool included in the service kit. Remove the housing from the rotor case bore using the tool provided. Remove the static O-ring. Remove the outer sleeve O-ring and inner sleeve O-ring. Wipe clean both the rotor case and the rotor bore. Check the sleeves for grooves and deep scratches and replace as necessary. Now remove the retainer bolts of the rotor case. Remove the rotor case and place it face down on a suitable surface. Use a soft mallet if required. Remove the lip seals from the rear of the rotor case. How to assemble the seal flush. Apply a small amount of suitable lubrication to the new lip seals. Press the lip seals into the rear seal bore of the rotor case until they are flush with the end of the bore. Refit the rotor case, ensuring the rotor case screws are tightened to the required torque as stated in the instruction manual.
lubricate and fit a new housing O-ring into the housing. Align the mark on the front face of the housing with the lugs in the bore of the rotor case and push back, keeping the static assembly square to the bore until fully engaged. Lightly lubricate the outer sleeve o-ring and the inner sleeve o-ring and fit them onto the sleeve. Align the slots in the sleeve with the pins in the rotor and push until the O-rings are fully seated. Without lubricating, fit the primary O-ring into the housing firmly pushing it with uniform pressure into position. Lightly lubricate the outer diameter of the sleeve. Lubricate rotor shaft O-rings and fit onto the shafts. Refit the rotors, aligning the missing spline in the rotor with the shafts. Reposition the rotors using the marks made during disassembly when refitting existing components. Lubricate and fit a new P-ring elastomer to the rotor case ensuring the coloured mark faces towards the rotor case and is fully seated in the groove. Lightly lubricate and fit the new P-ring elastomer into the groove on the rotor nuts, ensuring the correct orientation. Fit the rotor nuts and tighten them to the required torque as stated in the instruction manual. Use a plastic block to stop the rotors from turning during tightening. To check that the rotors are correctly synchronized, turn the drive shaft by hand and check all clearances with a suitable gauge to make sure they meet the recommended clearance figures as stated in the instruction manual. Finally, fit the cover of the rotor case onto rotor case and tighten the nuts on the rotor case cover. Apply torque as stated in the instruction manual. To maintain the Alpha Laval DuroSuck pump, these tools are required. Always remember to read the instruction manual thoroughly to make sure you cover all maintenance steps. This video only shows you some of the steps. When servicing Alpha Laval equipment, always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Thank you for watching.